Rothwell, and I wrote the script Public. It takes place in a public high school, and the main character, one of the teachers, wants to make live-action role-play, or LARPing, a varsity sport. I was a teacher for 15 years in a public and a private school. My parents were teachers, my dad was a college professor, my mom was an elementary school teacher, my sister's a learning specialist, and my brother-in-law is a teacher. So our dinner conversations are chock full of teaching stories and always have been. If you know a teacher, you've probably heard a teaching story because every teacher has got a ridiculous story to share. So I decided I'm going to make a show about this because there is so much material out there. If I could write for any show in the world, I would love to write for Saturday Night Live or It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia or even Faulty Towers if it were still on the air. To me, sharing laughter with my family and my friends is the best way to bond um, rather than sitting and having well, you tell your teaching stories, then you watch your show. But when you sit and watch a show with somebody, I feel like there's a bonding thing there. And laughter to me is just the best medicine. It's the best gift that you can give to somebody. And I hope that through my show, you'll have the same gift of laughter. Hi. My name is Sir Mark Eichelboom from the Netherlands, and I'm the writer of the dark comedy uh, No Freaks Allowed. Uh, the idea for this short film came while I was working on a other short film uh, with a dwarf and a, a strong and the tallest man of the world in the lead. And at the same time I read a very impressive article about our fear and prejudices to strangers and refugees. And my mind combined those two things together and so I was ending up with a, a circus, a strange circus company. Um, in the old wild west and they were prohibited to stay in the villages they were passing and they were especially not allowed to go into the bar because no freaks were allowed in the bars and the dwarf of the company um, he doesn't like that ban and he goes into the saloon anyway and then all hell breaks loose um, I wrote it within a day and the first draft and after that I had to work on it for four or five months to sharpen the comedy and everything that was in there I also wrote it in Dutch first and when I thought well we don't have any deserts and I think it's better to make it more international I had to rewrite everything in, in English and make other jokes because the Dutch jokes weren't working uh, when well, you just translate them and when it was finished I thought by myself okay then what now and then I a script of producer popped up so I thought oh, well I like it very much but let's see what people will know really about what's working uh, how they think about it so I'm, I'm very honored uh, it's in, in the top eight of, of the short movies of this year and I hope to gain uh, some experience with it to get uh, in contact with producers or people to talk about this movie um, I wrote it with Peter Dinklage in my head I think he's the only one who can play it really well so it will be impossible to make especially because it's just a short and it's very expensive with all the clothing and the, the, the sets and the saloons and all that kind of stuff but I'm trying to make it a, a, a future length film now and uh, I'm working on that to keep the same pacing to keep the same uh, humor so uh, I thank you very much and uh, I hope to uh, see somebody of you hi my name is Shannon DiCipolo and I wrote a TV spec script for what we do in the shadows. I came up with this idea when I was a student at Vancouver Film School, and I really enjoyed the show. I felt like the comedy matched with my sense of humor. I worked on the script for seven months on and off, constantly writing drafts and receiving feedback from my peers has really helped me craft the script better. This isn't my first script that I've written. I've been writing screenplays for at least nine years now. This competition has given me a chance to submit something with confidence, a piece of completed work that I am proud of. And from this experience, I hope to gain recognition and connections. And hopefully this puts me on the right path towards working in the industry as a writer. It's been an honor being a TV finalist, thank you. Hi, my name is Charles Lane. My script is The Hangman. Um, I was asked how I came up with the idea for it. Um, the, the 
the premise of the of the script is a group. Uh, it's a young arts collective who decide to become a terrorist organization. It's a very small organization, and they kidnap a billionaire to hold for ransom to enact a, a grand scheme of social justice. Uh, until they realize that they've captured the wrong person and have to change tack. And the reason I wrote this script um, is because I've always loved reading about and watching documentaries on terrorist organizations over the years. The Bader Meinhof group uh, in Germany in the 60s and 70s, uh, Symbionese Liberation Army uh, who, who kidnapped Patty Hearst um, and other, other groups. And I wanted to uh, make it more contemporary. Um, you know, it's uh, to some degree this is a clash of generations, and um, and and um, technology uh, in the modern age. Um, I have uh, uh, just just so you know, um, I've shot the film already. I self-funded it. Uh, I produced it, I directed it, um, it has a, a stellar cast, and um, uh, I, ha I have a, the reason that I shot it, actually, is because um, I have written a feature uh, in the past, uh, in the last few years, called Identification Laura Bracken, uh, which has won a few awards at festivals around the world, um, but I haven't been able to option it. And I thought, well, another uh, good thing to do would be to, to write a short and film that uh, and use that as a calling card. So um, I, I'm still writing other features and trying to get, get them finished and get them out to festivals. The reason I sent my script to Scriptapalooza, I actually sent it after I finished shooting my film. Uh, the film's in edit now. Um, uh, I, I did it because I, uh, Script of Blues is a very well-known festival. I want laurels for my posters. I want, um, I want some recognition. I'm, I, I have a website, um, for my film company. It's called Country Life Films, um, and for my, my film. So, uh, I, I just, any recognition is wonderful and, I'm, when the film is finished, I'm going to send it out to managers, uh, agents, and you know, to, to festivals around the world, and hope that uh, you know th the laurels from from Scriptapalooza. I came in fifth as a finalist. Um, will help me uh, further the film and my film career. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Roberta Savoia and I wrote a spec script for Sex Education. It's a one-hour show and I started to develop this idea as a student at Vancouver Film School. It took me almost seven months to finish the script as it is right now. Uh, I've chosen Sex Education because I love the series, I love the characters and I wanted to talk about relationships. Relationships are complex in it and they could be very messy if we don't understand ourselves. Um, and I, I use these wonderful characters to talk about that. My episode is titled Labels. Um, it's not my first script. I've been writing a lot. I am writing a lot and I enjoy that. The reason that I wanted to join this competition, it was because I wanted to throw my name out there and I saw Script of Palooza as, um, as an opportunity to seal an, an accomplishment of having finished this script. It was a long journey and I'm grateful for all the feedback that I received in the writer's room. room. Um, if I could write for any show, Sex Education would definitely be one of them. Dead to Me would definitely be one of them because I love series that mix comedy with drama to talk about serious matters. And I would love to write for any Reese Witherspoon's projects because I think she chooses them very wisely. 
So that's it. I am very thrilled to be here as a finalist. Uh, thank you very much.